good evening welcome to 30 days of thanks live with true heart speaks i am Deetra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor, helping you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living. Hey, Kim Bay. Hey, Adriana. Hey, everybody joining on Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope. Good evening. Hey, Melina. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. How is everybody? Hey, the light 340. Come on in, you all. Come on in. We are on day 27. Hey, Alonzo. How are you? We are on day 27. Can you believe it? We have four more days. Four, three, two, one. Four more days to go um, until we will be at day 30 um, on Thursday completing the book. How crazy is that? Like, I just can't even, I can't even take it. Like, I feel like, you know, the time has like, I don't know. I feel like we just started, right? I really feel like we just started and um, like super, super, super. Hi, is that my pastor? Hi, Pastor Breck. What are you doing up? You should be sleeping or something. Hey, 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 everybody. So welcome everybody on Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope. I am Deetra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. Hello, 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 everybody. Good evening. How are you guys? So I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to share on Facebook. And then if you are on uh, Periscope, if you can swipe right on the iPhone, swipe up on the Android. We don't have any way to share just yet on Instagram, but we can share on Facebook and Periscope. So if you want to go on ahead and do that, um, we're going to do that now. But who, like, who knew we are on day 27? How crazy is that? So um, I'm not sure what's going on tonight. If it's like Monday night football, I know that um, love yesterday, silence. Wasn't that so good? So yes, so if you guys have the book, then you know we don't do um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And so yesterday was silence. And then day 25 was, let me just look it up. I can't remember. Um, wisdom. And so, so, was it silence good? So juicy. And so, that's the best part about having the book. So, like, if you don't have the book, then you have to, you know, kind of just go along with the live videos. But if you have the book, then you can read and you can go along with it, right? So, let me share on my timeline on Facebook and then share in the group. And then we'll get this party started kind of quiet tonight but that's okay all right and so for some of you who may or may not know um, there's a couple more hours like literally you have an hour and maybe 50 minutes or so to take advantage of 50% off of all of my digital classes. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash, hey boss lady, how are you love? Bit.ly forward slash digital black Friday, bit.ly forward slash digital black Friday. I'm going to type this in here on Facebook just because I can. And the code is thanks. You'll have an opportunity to take advantage of 50% off of all of my digital products my digital so if you hey Monique how are you love if you you know and and just to give you kind of a quick overview so like I deal with topics like procrastination um, my time hacks for busy women my quiet time training discipline change we deal with emotional domination and a lot of those came from my life scope master classes and so if you didn't get a chance to take advantage of my life scope master classes hey Faye good evening then you could most assuredly get those for 50% off. And so if you're not on my email list and you haven't seen me posting online, tonight is the last night to get 50% off of my digital products. And so you can go to bit.ly. I just put the link in there, forward slash digital black Friday. The code is, I'm sick, not 100%, but I will be listening. Oh, so hopefully you are feeling better at some point. Make sure you get some rest. Hello, everybody joining Periscope, Instagram, and Facebook. We are live for 30 Days of Thanks Live for um, day 27, but I am good. I actually am good. 
I was very productive today. I got a lot of work done and I'm feeling good about today. Um, we were out of town for the last couple of days visiting my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law and Dallas got a chance to just play all day, all night, all day with his cousins and so he had a great time. So we got back yesterday around 11, 30, 12 ish. Um, and then we just kind of slept. Well, I did. I slept all day. I was like knocked out. And so, Hey, Tiffany, how are you? Um, you will be happy to know Tiffany that the books came in yesterday. And so your book will be going out tomorrow in the mail. So you should have it the next day or so. Um, I just got the new shipment of books that just came in. So if you want to get books for holidays, if you want to purchase books for the holiday, if you want to get both the book and the journal for somebody for the holiday, they're two for 25 on my website. And so I'm good. I'm actually good. So, um, so yeah, so let me, let me see if I need to share anywhere else and then we're going to get to reading. Um, yeah, I know you're super happy. I was super happy. Um, they must have come while I was out of town cause they were on the couch. And so I assume that my dad, um, my dad let us let uh, op uh brought them in. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I cannot believe we've been live, y'all, for the last thirty days. Like, and it hasn't been a total of thirty days, but like it's coming to an end on Thursday. Like, it's kind of it's gonna be weird. Um, for us, join us live join us for day 27 it'll be weird at 10 o'clock where we won't be on online or anything so um hopefully you guys have enjoyed this time i have um it has definitely been i will say um a sacrifice but it's definitely been something that i that i have enjoyed and so let's jump into day 27 and so day 27 is all about hey india how are you love is all about being thankful for God's word, giving thanks for God's word. And it says God's word is not just for our information. It is for our transformation. And the author is unknown. It says God's word is not just for our information. It is for our transformation. And so um, I really loved that quote because sometimes I think like you'll like people will just say, you know, well, I read, you know, um, it has been good, hasn't it? And so, you know, I will, you know, people say, oh, I read the Bible or like I go to church and I'm like, that's great, but if there's no change, right, if there's no internal change, if there's no transformation, if there's no nothing, like, then, like, you're, it really, you really are just going, and you really are reading it like you read a novel. Like, there is, there should be some type of transformation um, when you read God's Word. There should be some type of application, there should be something, some evidence um, that you are applying what you're reading, right? And so on this 27th day of thanks, we want to give thanks for God's word. I'm not sure how many of you really take time out to give thanks for the word, for the Lord, for his word. In his word is everything we need to live a life of purpose. Now, when I refer to the word of, word of God, I am referring to God's word written to us in the Bible. And I'm also talking about his promises that are designed specifically for you. God speaks to all of us differently and what or how he speaks to me may be different from what or how he speaks to you. However, the focus is that he speaks to all, to us all in the same, but in different ways. The same because it is through his word, through people or things, but different because the message is specific to you or your situation. How awesome is that? I think that's pretty fantastic. And just so you know, when God sends a word to you or when he sends out any word, know that it never comes back empty or void. It always accomplishes what it is sent to do. Isaiah 55 and 11 in the NIV version says, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. When God's word goes out, whatever he puts out there has to come to pass. It will accomplish what he desires and, ach and, and achieve the purpose for which he sent it. Now that was good. I'm going to read that again. It says, when God's word goes out, whatever he puts out there has to come to pass. It will accomplish what he desires and achieve the purpose for which he sent it. And so that is super awesome because a lot of times... Um, you know, we feel like if God has made a promise, if it hasn't come in the way or in the time that we think it should come, it won't come. And if it came from him and if it is his word and if it is what he has promised, it will accomplish that which what he desires and it will achieve the purpose for which he sent it. 
Just think about that. And while you're thinking and giving thanks, ponder on this. His word says his son came, his son came that you, all of you, live or watching the replay, that he came that you might have life and have it more abundantly according to John 10.10. 10. It says that you are part of a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy and peculiar people. You are unique and there is no one like you according to 1 Peter 2 and 9. He says that there is nothing, no thing too hard for God according to Jeremiah 32 and 27. It says that you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you according to Romans 8 and 37. It says that if you delight yourself in him, he will give you the desires of your heart according to Psalms 37 and 4. His plans for you are to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future according to Jeremiah 29 and 11. And it says if you meditate on his word day and night and do what is in it, then you will prosper and have good success according to Joshua 1 and 8. Need I go on? This all can relate to you if you should choose to accept and embrace it. So... If his word will accomplish that which he desires and will not come back void, then shouldn't you be somewhat thankful that his promises are not based on how you feel about yourself today or tomorrow, but how he feels about you every day? I would go out on a limb and answer for you by saying yes. And the crazy part about this is that many of us, if we wake up feeling not so good, then in our minds sometimes we feel like, oh, well, if I'm not feeling too good, then God must not be feeling too good about me or our relationship is kind of whatever. But God is a consistent God. And so I'm thankful for his word that we can go to his word and consistently find truth in his word, that we can go to his word and consistently find life in his word, that we can go to his word and consistently find healing in his word, that we can find joy in his word, that we can find confirmation in his word and so it says you should get excited about that that in and of itself should give you something to be thankful for furthermore we give thanks because God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway according to Psalms 119 and 105 in other words when you read study meditate and apply God's word in your life it is a lamp for every step you make and lights up your path as you go in the way which he tells you to go God lights up and makes the way clear for us with his word, we don't have to walk around in the dark or feel our way through our, this journey called life. I don't know about you, but there are times that I thank God for his word, but it's usually when it's com confirmation to what he is getting ready to do in my life. Some of you probably do the same, but how many of us are just thankful daily for his word because it is life and light to us? Not because of what it provides in a materialistic sense, but in a physical and a survival mode, mode sense. And what I love about this is, you know, simply because of the fact that, again, when we look at this, not because of anything other than, because a lot of times we say, oh, God, you know, I thank you for a word. That word was a good word. Ooh, that was good. But how many of us can just be in a space, right? We can be in a place and we can be in a space and just be like, Lord, I thank you that your word, it, it calms me. I thank you that your word, that it soothes me. I thank you that your word brings peace. Like I may not be in a good space right now, but I can go to your word and I can find something that will suffice where I am right now, right? It doesn't change the situation, but again, it can always change our perspective. And so, and I've said this a number of times that sometimes what we go through is not about changing everybody around us or even changing the situation. Sometimes it's about changing us. And sometimes the very thing that is changing is our ability to be able to go to God and be able to go to go into his word and be able to find truth about our situation and us as it relates to that situation okay let's finish reading it says let me tell you i don't know where i'd be without the word of god there have been some days where i just needed to hear a word from him because i was discouraged afraid unsure feeling rejected feeling alone or just in a blind mood and he would send me a specific passage and my God would it minister to me at that very moment. So as for me, I'm so grateful for his word. I'm also grateful because it was with words that God spoke everything into existence. He spoke it, it appeared, and it was good. Thank you, Lord, for showing us how to create what we want. If you didn't catch that, we must begin to speak what we desire. Many of us use negative words to speak over our present or our future um, and our future. And we wonder why things look so bleak in our lives. Let me stop right there. 
Many of us use negative words to speak over our situation and our in our future, and we wonder why things look so bleak. I want to ask you a question. What are you speaking over yourself? What are you speaking over your situation? What are you speaking over your family? What are you speaking over your children? What are you speaking over your husband? What are you speaking over your wife? What are you speaking over just anything? Like, is it just negativity? Is it just kind of based on what you see? Or are you speaking the word of God over any and everything that pertains to you? Start saying what God says about you until you start believing it. Start reading, studying, meditating God's and speaking God's word over your life and everything connected to you. Then begin to thank and praise God in advance. Start today by giving thanks unto God today for his word and for the words he has spoken over you and those connected to you. How good was that, right? That was the lesson for today. So today's journal assignment. It says, take some time today to begin to thank God for his word and for the words he has spoken over you. Take some time to write out some of the things you know his word says about you. Think about how different your life would be if you began to use the word as your guide for life. And then write down your thoughts. Lastly, write down what you know to be true about God's word as it relates to you, your life, and everything connected to you. I'll read that again. Take some time today to begin to thank God for his word and for his words, the words he spoke, he has spoken over you. Take some time to write out some of the things you know his word says about you. Think about how different your life would be if you began to use the word as your guide for life and then write down your thoughts. Lastly, write down what you know to be true about God's word as it relates to you, your life, and everything connected to you. And so here's what I wrote the question that really popped out to me is, think about how differently your life would be if you began to use the word as your guide for life. How different would your life be if you began to use God's word as your guide for life? You all hear my dog snoring. <laughs> I think I woke her up laughing. <laughs> She's right here. So, but think about how different your life would be. Like when you think about the words that you speak and you think about just all of that kind of stuff. Hey, AZ. And you just think about like some of the stuff that, just think about some of the, I'm just going to keep it plain. Like some of the dumb stuff we say. Like just think about some of the stuff that we say and then think about like how different like our lives would be if we had a continuous and a consistent um, lifestyle of speaking God's word over our situation. Sometimes, you know, we get to a place where sometimes it's like, well, I don't want to seem all spiritual or I don't want to seem all whatever. But I wonder if we would stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. And this is me included, right? I'm sitting here, I'm doing a self check for myself, right? Like if literally if, you know, like how I talk to myself, you know, sometimes you kind of have to check yourself. And so like what would happen if the way you spoke to yourself on a consistent basis would be how God speaks to you or how God would want you to speak to yourself. How would your life be different? I want you to think about that. And so the prayer for tonight is this, Lord, how awesome you are. We are so thankful for this 27th day. On this day of thanks, we're so grateful for your word. We're appreciative for all the wonderful nuggets available to us in your word to help us live a life that is pleasing to you. We're so appreciative that in the beginning, you modeled for us how to create the abundant life that you desire for us to have by speaking it into existence and using your word. We thank you for seeing it, speaking it, and then claiming it is good once it manifested. Thank you that everything you've spoken will accomplish what you desire for it to do. We're thankful that you don't take your words back and that everything you make, you speak into existence, then proclaim that it is good. Thank you, Lord, that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. We love how you have provided a way through the dark times through your word. Again, thank you, Father, for your word. We will not let your word depart from our mouths and we will meditate every day on your word, thus producing prosperous and successful lives that you will get all the glory and honor. Amen. So that was day 28. Day 28, we're thankful for God's word, right? Not only the actual word of God, the Bible, but his word that is spoken and manifested over our lives. I want y'all to be encouraged. We are in the last leg of this. Um, do not get discouraged. Do not get weary and well-doing. Stay the course. Even once this is over, come back to these videos watch the videos go back to the book this book is not just a november thanksgiving book it is an all year round um you know thanks thank thankful grateful gratitude whatever you want to call it book 
But it literally is 30 days of teaching you how to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. And really what it is about is perspective. And I keep saying that, but I want to keep saying it because I want you to recognize that it's not about what you're going through. It is about how you speak over a situation. It is about your perspective changing that no matter what is going on, that there is always something to be thankful for. That there's always something to be grateful for. And as my, um, my saying is being thankful isn't optional. It's a necessity. Being thankful is a necessity. It's not optional. It's not only optional just when things are good and we're like, oh, God, I thank you for all of this stuff. But when all hell is rising up around you, can you can you be thankful and can you be grateful? Right. Can you like when the word when uh, Paul says that, um, you know, I know how to be content, like I know what it is to be rich. I know what it is to be poor. I know what it is to be hungry. I know what it is to not so be hungry. And but in all these things, right, I've learned to be content. Therefore, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so for some of us, we need to kind of get that whole mindset of is I'm grateful no matter what I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like you have to begin to talk to yourself, to speak to yourself. Um, and I'm not even going to, I'm working on a new project, um, that is related to that. And so I'm not going to tell y'all anything about it, but once I start working on it, you'll know, and you'll start seeing, um, but the premise of it is, is you, we really have to be intentional about what we say to ourselves. We really have to be intentional. When we talk about, I speak life and speaking life and speaking, you know, and the, the power of life and death is in the tongue that we really have to be careful of what we say and how we say it, because it does determine ultimately where we, where we want to be. And we, we don't think about it, but if you listen to yourself, right, whether it's mentally or physically out of your mouth, because your thoughts say things to you as well. And sometimes it's not what you say out of your mouth, but what you think that you believe. And so we are grateful to God for his word, that we can go to his word, that we can go to Proverbs, that we can go to Psalms, that we can go, you know, we can go to any part anywhere in the world in, in his word, and we can get confirmation, that we can get restoration, that we can get peace of mind, that we can know how God sees us and how God views us. And so, again, I want y'all to be encouraged. I want you all to um, to know that, you know, that God loves you, um, but that his word is not just some novel that we read with really good juicy stories in it. And we just like, oh, that was good. But there is no transformation. There's no restoration. There's no healing. There's nothing that takes place from you reading um, the word of God because his word is power. His word is truth. His word is true. And so if there is nothing that results from you actually reading his word, that means either you don't believe it or, or you don't believe it. Like, you know what I mean? Like you don't believe it or you're not listening. Hey, Adri, how are you? Hey, everybody joining on um, 30 days of thanks live. Um, we just closed out day 27. Um, so go back and check out the replay. But at the end of the day, there should be some type of transformation. Like you should be able um, to go to God's word and read it and ask God to, to really sh to speak to you and talk to you about what he is saying to you in, in his word. And you should be able to get something from it. You should be able to walk away um, better, right? Um, more knowledgeable, whatever the case may be. And if you're not, then maybe either you're not studying right, you're not reading it right, you're not, you know, there might be something there where you may not necessarily know what to do. But at the end of the day, we don't just read God's word to be able to say, oh yeah, I read it and I know what's in it, but we can't, we don't apply it. That's not what it's for. Like we said in the beginning here, it's not just for information, it's for transformation, period. So, um, so yes, yeah, so, so that's that. So we are done with day 27, y'all getting ready to go to 28, 29 and 30, three more days. Can you believe it? Don't forget you have literally like less than an hour and a half to get 50% off of my digital trainings. And so, um, as a matter of fact, let me just go to this page really quickly and I can, um, talk to you a little bit about what you can get when you what you can take advantage of and so i've got my quiet time training how to hear from god more clearly during your quiet time my time hacks for busy women um i've got my all of my life scope master classes most of them um my be disciplined or be defeated and that's talking about talking about discipline i've got pride control tame it before it controls you and that's talking about pride um, change sucks or does it that talks about change so if you're dealing with change pride or discipline if you have issues with that you want to get those boundaries why we need them and how to use them um, activating your faith uh, creating a lifestyle of leadership emotional domination control or be controlled and then the last one is um I'm trying to see what this is right here oh crushing procrastination get started or stop stunting and so um you can get these all for 50 percent off you can go to my website. Uh, well, it's a link. It's bit.ly forward slash 
uh, Digital Black Friday, bit.ly forward slash Digital Black Friday, and the code is thanks. You have until 11.59 to um, get one or all of them. Um, and I think there's a total of 10 of those. And so, like, I think literally you could probably get all of them um, maybe for, like, I don't know, I'm going to say, like, under $200. Um because it's 10 of them and so I've got yeah and so like you you know they're $47 regularly and they're 50% off so it's like 20 bucks a piece so it's like less than maybe like a little bit more or less but whatever it is that you want to get from here get one two three four just get one whatever it is but I want to encourage you like personal development is huge and so I want to be able to give you the tools to help you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living so that you can do life well and the only way you can do that is by getting unstuck so that you can get started and getting unstuck cause is um getting unstuck by means of getting quiet you know learning how to be time aware um being disciplined learning how to implement boundaries understanding the importance of recognizing change um managing your your pride right you either you control pride or pride controls you um activating your faith right and um creating a lifestyle of leadership uh crushing procrastination for some of you procrastination is totally crushing your whole entire life um uh, and then emotional domination like some of you it's either like control or be controlled like you literally have to learn you need really need to learn how to manage your emotions and if you haven't learned how to manage your emotions your emotions will get you every single time right so you want to go to bit.ly forward slash um, digital Black Friday to get 50% off of my digital courses until midnight tonight. And then if not, then you can catch them at any time. But I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Hey, Michelle, I hope you are recouping and recovering and resting. Um, you should be resting and sleeping, not up. And so I will see you all tomorrow night, same time, same place for day 28 where we will talk about let's see what's day 28 i know oh favor <gasps> this one is going to be good hello mike strand we're getting ready to close out you can go back and take hello there um take uh take a look at the replay um but you all have a good night i will see you all tomorrow and i think that's it go to go and get your um your digital classes go and register and get them so that you can have access to them you get lifetime access to them you download them and listen to them or watch them they are video some are some are audios but most of them are videos and so but you can listen to them you don't necessarily have to watch them but um again i want to be able to support you and give you access to resources that are going to help you get out of your own way so i love you thank you so much have a good night and i will see y'all tomorrow